first thing we're going to be working with in Vue is usually the template. We're going to create our Vue instance, and then we're going to get some data variables, and then we're going to have to show those variables in our template. Let's see all the different ways that Vue allows us to work with our templates very declaratively so that we can automatically inject content where we need it. The first one, which is called interpolation, we already saw, and this is with the double curly brackets. You can see this in a lot of the JavaScript frameworks and they use the double curlies to indicate that they're going to declaratively inject a piece of data into that exact section. Now, the cool thing is, is that you can use this to actually use it for the data variables in our view instance. And you can also do it for one-liner JavaScript expressions as well. Let's say we had a count of one, you could actually do count plus one inside of here. And that would actually turn out to say two. So very cool stuff. The next thing we can do is this is good for interpolating text, injecting text into your HTML. What about attributes? Let's say we have an image tag and has a source. Well, we can use vbind for that. So you would say vbind colon source. Let's switch back to our code and set everything up so that we can start working here. We'll go back over, open that up. I believe we're in 03 now. So we'll open up index.html here. Open up the terminal, cancel, cd out, 03, and light server inside of that folder. Let's see our first two examples. Let's do text interpolation. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Data, picture, and let's go ahead and go grab an image. So let's go Twitter. And I'll grab my image here, right click, copy image address, and we'll close that out, paste that here. Probably better to name that avatar. And here we'll interpolate the text here, avatar, save, and immediately we get our link thrown into our HTML. Very nice. Now what about if we had an image tag? Image source is equal to avatar, would this work? Well, let's actually set a height, 300 pixels, and a width at 300. And that doesn't work. So we're gonna need to use one of the directives is what they're called. And what a directive is, is we've seen it before. We've seen V on, and now we're gonna say V bind. A directive is something that when view parses this template, it looks for these directives that are attached to elements. And then it will say, oh, look, I have to work on this section right here. I'm going to say vbind source. OK, the source is avatar. Directives are a really good way to declaratively add extra functionality to our HTML so that we don't have to do too much JavaScript work. Vue handles all of that in the back end. Now, if we save this, immediately our vbind source avatar is automatically here. And if we right click inspect, That's a little cramped. You can see image source is the avatar, which is the actual string of the URL right here. That way we have text interpolation. We have binding to attributes. And let's do a little bit more. We'll go back to the slides. We have attributes and extra directives we have is vif. This is a good way to show or hide something if it doesn't exist. And we'll see this a lot. We'll go over here and let's bring up that other Chrome tab. Here we go. And let's say div. And we'll copy this right here. Actually, you know what? Let's do a whole new set of variables here. Let's say is success and we'll set that to true. So we'll save that. And here in this div, we'll say, we did it, successful. And then in another div, we'll say div, we did not do it, not successful. And we'll add some Bulma classes, alert, sorry, notification is danger. And class notification is success. Nice. Now we have two notifications here. 
we're going to use that vif directive. So we're only going to show this successful notification vif we have is success. View will go ahead and look at this directive right here and say if this variable is truthy, which it is, it's equal to true right here, we'll actually show this. And then we want to hide that if the if we only want to show the error message not is success. So if is success is false. And automatically that got removed. Thanks to the vif directive, we can hide and show things declaratively based on if a variable is truthy or not. And the cool thing we can do, let's split this out wide, right click inspect, go into the console. Let's scroll down, check this out. If we do app dot is success is equal to false, immediately our error message is shown and our success message goes away. So in this instance, our application is reactive. It reacts to any data changes that might happen. The HTML automatically updates itself. And that's all thanks to Vue. You can start to see that a couple of these different tactics put together starts to make really cool applications, right? We can start doing success messages if somebody submits a form, which we will do soon. And error messages, we can show or hide images, avatars if a avatar exists. All in all, this is the basis of templates in Vue. We're going to have text interpolation. We're going to bind to attributes. And we're going to use directives to manipulate our DOM, our document object model, which is just that page that we're looking at right here. Now, a cool thing to note is it can be a little tedious to write vbind everywhere. You can actually shorthand vbind with just the colon. So now we have colon source. And the way I kind of like to do these view attributes is I put them at the end because I know that all my view attributes are always going to be at the end. All my default attributes are first and front and center. Save that. And that is good enough for our template basics. Next up, we're going to do template lists, which is also a very important part of working with our templates.